Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. What can I do for you? Is that meeting still happening? The one with the bigwig? Well, as far as I know. Would it be unusual to reschedule the meeting? Well, you would come off as a little flaky. Unless that's the impression you're trying to make. Flaky is the worst thing a politician can be. Or corrupt. Or a rapist. There are a lot of pitfalls in politics, but those are the big three. So, do I need to know anything about this guy? What's his political pedigree? His name is George Gurnway. He's the city manager in Eagleton. He's divorced with two children. Okay, good to know. Knowledge is power. Francis Bacon. Or Mary J. Blige. Leslie's not much of a dater. You don't meet many guys at the Hall of Records, the Public Library, or the shoe section at J.C. Penney's, so I set her up with a wonk I met at a government conference. Ollie talks about her city codes. She's gonna love him. Great. Is that what you're gonna wear? No, I was gonna wear something a little more formal and buttoned down. You know, I don't wanna blow it. Why don't you try something more stylish? Like Laura Bush stylish or Michelle Obama stylish? Now, you know that we're gonna be building a park and a residential lot. So, of course, we're gonna have to get the zoning codes approved and amended by our city council. What kind of movies do you like? Huh? Uh, well, you know. Documentaries, political thrillers. I like all kind of movies. Great. So I brought some pictures of the lot, and you can tell that the houses are very close to it. How difficult is rezoning in your town? Could you go into detail a little bit about that? Sure. Great. It's refreshing to be with someone who actually likes talking about government issues. Mm. Most of the women I go out with find it boring. Well, you know, you have to have zoning codes or else the whole thing could be chaos. <laughs> You are a very no-nonsense person, aren't you? Mm. I like that. Your mother mentioned that you don't date much. What? I've been focusing on my career. Why do you ask? Oh, because I, I, I haven't been dating much either. Since my divorce, I, uh, well, it hasn't been easy. I mean, I'm coping, but it was tough on the kids. Not my kids, because they're grown up, but it was tough on their kids. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, boy. I'm sorry. Okay. I apologize. Mm. I shouldn't bring up my divorce on a first date. But I feel I can tell you anything. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's have some more wine. See where the night takes us. He thinks we're on a date. Did you tell him we were on a date? It is a date. What did you think it was? A political strategy session. Leslie, you're not getting any younger. Well, neither is he. And he's 62 years old. I think it's going quite well. And she looks like a young Sandy Duncan. Oh, just go back in there and finish the dinner. Let him think it's a date. You don't have to have sex with him if you don't want to. What? Are you crazy? Hi, how are you?